What does it feel like to continue to get the results this season? It feels good, you know. Um, obviously, it's been a tough road to get in this situation to get a lot of consistent at-bats, but to, uh, to finally be able to show off everything that I knew in my head I was capable of is, is, is special for me, and, and I'm thrilled to keep walking into the ballpark and seeing my, my name somewhere in that lineup. Three for four with the homer. Are you going to tell Gardner he can keep the turtleneck? <laughs> no, no, I'm, uh, I'm taking it back. I had a couple good games in it, but I'm sure he's not going to give it back. Um, he came into my locker and obviously took it before I got to the field, and, and I could see him from like 60 yards from my locker walking around in the turtleneck. So I knew that it was over. I wasn't going to get it back and try to be a good sport about it, but I think we're going to have to fight to get that turtleneck back. Next one goes to Molly Walker. Please unmute. Hey, Clint. Um, could you give us the gist of what Brett said to you in the field after that misplay off the green monster? Um, he just said it's a tough play, you know, and that warning track is about two times bigger than a normal one and, and just continued to remind me that you have to keep going strong into the wall no matter what and that he's going to be there to back me up and, and obviously reminded me it is a 7-0 game. So, you know, don't run into the wall, but play it hard. Next one to Marley Rivera. Um, hi, Clint. Jay told us that you guys were very much aware of the fact that you could, you know, set the franchise record with your 12th uh, win against the Red Sox tonight, and you want to set a new one tomorrow. How important uh, would that be for you guys to set a new franchise record against your rivals? I think any record is important, but, you know, obviously coming off of the the losing streak we had before this to to get what would be 11 tomorrow, I think, 11 straight and obviously 12 straight wins against them or 13. I don't even know the record, to be honest, but. You you tied the record today with 12 and tomorrow 12. You, you could set a new one. Okay, yeah. I mean, obviously we're playing really good and, and we want to continue it tomorrow, so it would be important to, to just get a win, but I, I mean, I don't think too many people are focused on our record. I think we're focused on, you know, trying to put ourselves in a really good position for the playoffs and, and obviously winning would set the record and that's going to be a really cool thing if we do. Thank you. Eric Boland, you have the next question. And earlier in the, uh, in the week, Aaron Boone told us that you're pretty much guaranteed a spot, even with everybody coming back. Did that do anything to lessen any pressure that you might have been feeling, or is your approach still, I have to earn a spot each and every day? Um, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't really feel too much pressure before, um, after I had played pretty well, you know, but to have the reassurance that I will be in the lineup took some, some off, you know, because it gave me the ability to finally not look over my shoulder as much. You know, I always knew when guys' rehabs were going to be ending and I knew I would be the odd man out. And to know that I'm getting the chance to, to play every day and backing it up pretty well right now is, is special for me because I, I, I can't tell you how frustrating it's been to, to be in this situation and not be able to break out of it and, and to finally, you know, kind of be able to launch my career in a positive direction right now has been really special. Thank you, Clint. 